spinning records type tutorial in FL Studio. Preview First of all I want to say sorry for not uploading last week, I was quite busy, so that's the reason why I now made a longer video. And now, enjoy. Kick. Claps. Get some typical future house claps, and if you want to you can make one unique, and shorten it a little bit with FL Studio's out function. Symbols. Reversed FX. These are mostly just sounds that come up later in the video, with some reverb and reversed. More symbols. I reversed those rides, so they give a general more uplifting feeling. Percussion. Just some regular clicky future house percussion. Percussion loop. I made this loop pan around a lot to give it a wide feeling. The plugin I used is Pancake by Cable Guys and it's actually free. Beat so far. Add some hard stamps to really bring some energy in this drop. What really sounds cool is when you add a hard style kick ass tap as well. Filler chords. I pitched the chords around and sidechained them, and later on chopped them up. Filler drums. For them I just added reverb and automated the mix level. Filler pluck. For the pluck, again, I just added reverb and automated the mix level. More FX. Full drum beat. Let's go on. Bass. For the bass I've got a hard sub bass in Serum and to give it some extra punch I added a kick and cut the low frequencies to get this clicky kick sound and layered it with the other bass. lead.
In spinning record songs you often hear very weird and hard leads, so I tried to make something in this way. The notes are actually just the bass notes, but I added a pitch automation to give it that glide effect. For the effects I just can say that it's just distorting and taming back with EQ or something else was the easiest way for me to get a hard sound. To again give the instruments more power I automated the reverb wet level again, and automated it how I wanted it. I also added two stereo shapers with the delay thing once on the left side, and on the other one on the right side, and automated the mix level of those plugins, so the delay switches around all the time. I would just suggest, automate anything that can make the sound cooler. Finally I then added a vocal lead in the last bar, to give it some variation. Final result. Hope you enjoyed, follow me on SoundCloud and YouTube, and have a wonderful day.